Hi, welcome to Mathematics of Chemistry Part 6. My name is Dr. English and today we're going to be introducing the concept of dimensional analysis. Specifically, we're going to realize that you know more than you think you know when it comes to dimensional analysis. We're going to talk about what is dimensional analysis, what is a conversion factor or a conversion unit, realizing that conversion factors are everywhere, and finally looking at can you visualize what you're converting because that's really important to know how to do. So the first thing that you need to realize is that you know more than you think you know. You're most likely in your life doing conversions without even realizing it. Converting from one unit to another unit can be difficult if you're not familiar with the units that you're using. So as we go through this process, I want you to take a deep breath, I want you to relax, I want you to take your time and label and be neat and think about your setup, and finally at the very very end I want you to ask yourself the really important question which is does my final answer make sense when I look at what I started with and what my conversion factor was. So what is dimensional analysis? Dimensional analysis also goes by the names of factor label method, unit factor method, and really dimensional analysis is just a mathematical method that converts a given quantity and unit of measurement into a different unit of measurement. So we have a quantity with a unit and all we're doing it is converting it to a different unit. So what do we need here? We need a conversion factor and in a lot of chemistry courses the conversion factor that everybody goes to right away is a dozen donuts. One dozen donuts equals 12 donuts. That's a conversion factor because we're converting from 1 to 12 but each of them has a different label associated with them. One dozen, 12 donuts. Conversion factor. So what is a conversion unit or conversion factor? The specific definition is a numerical ratio that uses two equivalent quantities labeled with different units can be inverted because the conversion factors are equal to one. So some common conversion factors, you don't need to memorize these, but these are conversion factors that you might have used in the past. For example, one kilometer is equal to 0.6214 miles. One meter is equal to 1.094 yards. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. One kilogram is equal to 2.205 pounds. One pound, 453.59 grams. And one ounce is equal to 28.35 grams. All of these are conversion factors because we're just going from one unit to another unit. Conversion factors are everywhere. If you were to look at the things that are in your kitchen, you'd realize that a lot of them have conversion factors right on them. So I took this picture of this Domino sugar that's in my house and it says four pounds is equal to 1.81 kilograms and we see that right on the label. Or here, this Tide Free and Gentle Laundry Detergent. Here they give you a whole bunch of different conversions. 4.43 liters is equal to 1.17 gallons, which is equal to 150 fluid ounces. So you can find conversion factors in a lot of different places. Can you visualize what you're converting? If we look at these bars of Hershey chocolate here, we see different conversion factors. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, and that's one that you really need to be familiar with. If we look at these different bars, they're telling us here that five pounds is equal to 2.26 kilograms. They say specifically here, oh, this is a half pound bar, which is equal to eight ounces or 226 grams. And finally, 1.55 ounces is equal to 43 grams. So again, everything that we see here are different types of conversion factors that we need to be able to sort of visualize to make sure that our final answer makes sense. So what did we learn in this very, very, very short tutorial? One thing I want you to realize is that you know a lot about dimensional analysis already. Understanding the basic definition of dimensional analysis, understanding the basic definition of a conversion factor, realizing that conversion factors are everywhere, and starting to be able to visualize these different units of measurement. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.